Hi everyone, it's Tony Richards and welcome to the Tony Richards Life Focus. I want to talk tonight about kicking stones. Kicking stones. Ever walk down a street kicking stones, either as a kid or as an adult? I did that just the other day. I was walking, I like to walk every night, and as I was walking there was this one stone that was on the sidewalk, and as I kept walking I kept kicking it and uh, stayed with it for, for quite a while. But you ever do that? Ever kick a stone? Ever pick up a stone and try to hit a target some distance away, like a tree or a can or a pole? I tried to do that when I was a kid, and most times uh, I would miss all of those and I always found the windows. I don't know why, but uh, broken glass and stones seem to go really well with me. Uh, ever pick up a stone and study its size, its texture, its dimensions? Did you ever do that? Leaders are like this with the people that they lead. That's right, you are. Think about this for just a moment now in your family, in your work, in your church, in your nonprofit, in your corporation, in your agency, whatever it is and wherever it is. You see, sometimes we treat people like that stone on the sidewalk or in the dirt by kicking down their thoughts and their opinions. We, we kick them when they're down. Did you ever hear that expression? Well, we're like a stone, aren't we? We just, we just kick it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter you have feelings. It doesn't matter there's emotions. It doesn't matter that's a human being that, that, that those vicious attacks are, are, are aimed at. You see, we kick them around with bad comments and opinions that can cause hurt and pain psychologically. Hopefully not physically, but definitely psychologically. Sometimes, as leaders, we try and deflect others' comments and, in essence, throw away and discard others' thoughts and positions. Like that stone we pick up and we look at and we try to just throw it away because we don't like it. Sometimes that's how we treat people. Sometimes that's how we make people feel. So be careful with that. You see, don't we size up the individual when we meet them or work with them daily by the way they act, by the way they talk, by the way they dress? We have to be very, very careful. We'll look at a stone and we'll size up that stone just by its size, by the way it looks, by the texture of that stone. So, so we, we, we have to just be very careful because we do the same things with people that we work with, people we love, people that we, co-workers and church members and, and everything else. So we look at someone walking down the street and just by the way they look, we size them up or the color of their skin or the way they talk or whatever. It's interesting, go into a sociological experiment that has been done many times. And I did it once myself. I went into a department store and I was in blue jeans, ragged blue jeans, and a, just a pullover shirt, and it was kind of dirty. And the, the people in the store looked at me, and the customers and the, the, the salespeople just kind of wanted to get me out of the store. And then I went back a few hours later, and I wore a nice pair of slacks and a shirt and a sport coat, and I was all clean and polished and everything. And I'll tell you what, I got all the stares and smiles, and can I help you? How are you today, sir? Be very careful. That happens, too, with, with people in different cultures. Be careful, be very careful, the stones that you are you're kicking aside. You see, we assess a person's intelligence or their texture and see if it measures up to ours and our expectations. The problem is, is our expectations and our, our measures aren't always accurate. But yet we view others and treat others in the same way. We listen to their ideas and suggestions, their dimensions, and judge them whether right or wrong. If you agree with me, I know people like that. You know, Norman, if, if, if in Alberto, if, if, if people agree with me, then that's great. I, I size them up as, as my friends, as, as, as co-workers, as amigos, as, as people that we can work with. But if somebody disagrees, oh, do you know somebody like that? Forget it. You're on their list forever. Like that stone, if you pick up the stone and you say, ah, oh, this, isn't, this isn't the way I like it or it doesn't feel right or what, you just throw it away. That's how we are sometimes with emotions and feelings and of other people. Take today and going forward to understand the importance of the stones, the stones in your life, your family, your co-workers, your ministry leaders. You see, these people are in your life and your work and live to accept and appreciate their differences. 
Don't try to kick it aside. Don't be like that old stone and just say, oh, forget it. Old stones can hold a lot of polish yet. Old stones and people can hold a lot of wisdom and history. Don't just throw them away. The life focus for tonight, be careful when kicking and throwing stones. And remember, you are a stone to someone else. Go forward. Marcia and Matthew, thank you. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope that tonight's Life Focus was encouraging to you and inspirational. Remember, we're all stones in life, and we have to treat each other with care and and that special, that special polish. Write me at TonyRichardsSpeaking at gmail.com. Check out my website, TonyRichards.net. In about 20 minutes, this program will be uploaded to YouTube. Simply go to YouTube.com and type in TR Speaks, and you can see this program and others. Share this with others. Share it. Like stones, we're all, we're all different. We all have different sizes, shapes, dimensions, thoughts, attitudes, color, speaking, everything, language. But we're all great. We're all fantastic. And we all belong together. So enjoy the stones around you. Enjoy those that are in your life and embrace them and cherish them. Love them and go forward.